the title of this video is Becoming Debt Free. And this is an important subject from my perspective. I've given a lot of thought to how I was going to approach it. A lot of my videos focus on travel and, and other things, but becoming debt free is something that I think is very important. And if this video can inspire just one person to make a change in how they approach their financial lives, then I think it will have been worth it. Changing our attitudes and mindsets about finances and debt requires a process and it requires a lot of personal change. My wife and I have become debt free from everything except for our mortgage and it has made a radical change in our lives and in our lifestyle. So with this video, what I want to do is encourage you that within the next 12, 18 to 24 months, you can absolutely engage a process to become debt free also, if you choose it. We became serious about becoming debt free around 2017 timeframe. Up until then, we were just normal. Most people in America today are just normal. They're saddled with debt. Most are living paycheck to paycheck and they're not being intentional about how they live and approach their financial lives. And I'm here to let you know, living paycheck to paycheck or having stress in your life around finances is not a necessary or permanent condition. You can make a change. Choosing to live life under the burden of stress and debt is completely unnecessary. It's both financially unstable and unsustainable. And it robs you of the peace that you could have in your life if you chose to live differently. So in full disclosure, the concepts and ideas that I'm going to share with you today are not my own. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not trained to give financial advice. I'm just going to share some ideas with you that have made a difference in my life. And the concepts that I've chosen to follow are from Dave Ramsey. He's the author of the book, The Total Money Makeover. And he's also the architect of the Financial Peace University or FPU. He has single-handedly helped more people in America become debt-free than any other individual. Helping people achieve financial peace is at the very center of the mission of Financial Peace University and the whole system that Dave Ramsey has put together. Having peace in your life is really what becoming debt-free is all about. According to a recent study by U.S. News conducted this past October, roughly 40% of Americans struggle to make their basic financial needs. And according to Forbes magazine of people surveyed, roughly one in nine persons would struggle to cover an unexpected financial expense of $400. And to me, that's incredible. I've heard it said that our lives are nothing more or less than the sum total of our choices. And if financial distress is a choice, then I choose to live differently. I choose to live without it. Unfortunately for so many, choosing to be normal means choosing to live a life saddled with debt and all of the burdens and stress that comes along with that. Being normal Americans, we've chosen to live a life of indebtedness as professional consumers. I'm sure you've heard the saying, we like to buy things with money that we don't have to impress people we don't even like. And then the surplus of things that build up and accumulate over time, we end up having to rent storage units to hang on to things that we no longer use or even have a plan to use in the future. To actually become debt free requires a fundamental and significant shift in our attitudes about money and our attitudes about debt. You have to come to the point where you recognize that debt is your enemy and those that are trying to encourage you to assume or take on more debt are also not your friend. Debt makes us a slave. It's really that simple, or at least it was for me. Once I realized I had the power to decide for myself and to chart my own course forward on financial matters, that was it. I committed to following Dave Ramsey's steps and I didn't look back. In this video, I'm just gonna cover the first two of the seven baby steps that Dave Ramsey has developed. I've chosen to follow them exactly and I suggest that you do the same thing. No one has helped more people get out of debt and live a financially secure lifestyle than Dave Ramsey. So the guy knows what he's talking about. So in my opinion, it's a pretty good idea to follow his prescription exactly. The seven baby steps are all about sequence, but I'm gonna get into the principle of sequence in another video in more detail later. But for purposes of this video, our first baby step is to have an initial starter emergency fund of $1,000. Not more, not less. 
just $1,000. That's baby step one. And I'm here to tell you anybody can do it. You might have to sell some stuff. You might have to have a yard sale. You might have to pick up some overtime, or maybe it means picking up a second job or side hustle. But anyone can get to baby step one, $1,000 of an emergency fund. The second step Dave Ramsey teaches is the debt snowball. Now he didn't invent the debt snowball, but he has done the best job of putting it into a structure that makes sense that anyone can follow if they choose to do it. What you wanna do is take out a piece of paper and list out all of your debts from lowest to highest. Now we're not talking about payment size, we're talking about the actual debt itself. You're gonna take that list and make minimum payments on everything, but you're gonna attack the smallest debt in your list and you're going to put every available extra dollar that you can to pay that off as fast as you can. Now that might mean that you need to continue to do some overtime. It might mean that you take on an extra job or a side hustle. It might mean that you have a yard sale every Saturday throughout the summer. Whatever it takes to get traction and progress on those first few small debts. Now here's a critical part also. While doing baby step two, you have to start budgeting and living on a budget. You have to learn to make lifestyle changes that are going to free up money in your budget. Most people spend far more money on lifestyle, eating out, eating at Starbucks, grabbing expensive drinks at Starbucks or some other location. You would be shocked how much money you can free up to put on your debt and paying it down if you make those lifestyle changes. Most of us have subscriptions to Amazon Prime or to Netflix strictly for purposes of entertainment. You need to think very carefully about how you're gonna spend your time in the next 24 months and whether you're going to be serious of, about attacking and eliminating debt or whether you're gonna go on about life as usual. You really need to take an ax to lifestyle and trim things out of your life that are in the way of paying off your debt. Now, if you're like most folks, you will make rapid progress on the first two or three debts on your list. And that's a good thing. It's gonna give you a sense of momentum. It's gonna give you a sense of accomplishment. And as you go, you take the money that you had paid on those smaller debts and apply it to the next debt in line. And you continue that process. And that's where we come up with the debt snowball. Continuing to live on a budget, limiting your lifestyle and keeping that under control while applying every available dollar to eliminating debt is what's going to give you momentum. It's going to give you that snowball effect and you're going to be getting traction and making changes to your debt picture that are going to bring you relief and less stress as those things are carved out of your life. Now, some folks are going to say, well, the debt snowball is obvious and everybody should be doing a budget. That's obvious. Everybody should be living within their means, except that as we discussed in the previous example, 40% of Americans are struggling right now to make their basic payments. If it was actually so obvious and easy, everyone would be doing it. Unfortunately, these principles aren't taught in high school. They're not taught in college. Um, I would say that the opposite is true. Every time I ever went through the student union, there were tables set up where people were offering credit cards and trying to get students to sign up for credit cards. And, in exchange for some stupid drink bottle with a logo on it. Now, your debt-free process should take about 24 months to complete. Now, if there are expensive high-end items with significant debt levels like cars, boats, or other toys in your particular financial picture, you may need to do some surgery and sell those items and make some drastic changes. And cars and vehicles, trucks for guys can be very strong emotional attachments but you have to get really serious about making changes and you might have to cut high-end items out of the picture altogether by selling them and if that means you have to drive a beater vehicle for a while that's fine drive a beater you'll survive now if you've made it this far into the video I want to encourage you to take time to visit Dave Ramsey's YouTube page. Also, check out his podcast because you need to tie into some community and to hear other people who are telling their debt-free stories, what their journey was like, things that they encountered along the way. There's an enormous amount of free information that you can get on Dave Ramsey's YouTube page. And it's going to be important for you to have that support and affirmation. Making changes is tough. You need that encouragement. I certainly did and you need the motivation. There's a lot of help there that's available to you for free if you take advantage of it. Like I said at the beginning, I'm not a trained financial expert. I'm just a guy who's gone through a process and has followed 
a specific process and teachings that have helped me do this thing and become debt free. My wife and I have eliminated virtually all of the stress that we had carried for 40 plus years by maintaining debt in our life. That is now gone. We live a simple lifestyle, but we live well. Most importantly, we have peace. Again, if my story and if this system can help just one person, one family achieve a debt-free life and the financial peace that comes with it, it will have been worth it to me. Anyone who wants to become debt-free can become debt-free. You just have to put in the work. So thanks for joining me today. If you like this information and this type of content, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button below and click the bell and you'll get notifications every time I upload a new video. Thanks.